Hi, I'm Nancy, Pampered with Diamonds. Hi, sorry, I was dancing. I like that tune and I forgot to push the button. Anyway, today I'm going to tell you about my live, my first library event at Mary Esther Public Library in Florida. I did a diamond art program. I did a make market florals. They're minis flowers. So this is the two patterns I have left. I have three out of 12 left because I had nine people there. This is one of the completed canvases. Came out so good. The lady who did this one didn't want it. <clears throat> she is an avid diamond painter, an active diamond painter, and she didn't need the little picture, but she loved the florals. So I was thinking I want to do that one. Yeah, that one's pretty. So I gave each one of them a, a tray, well, they got a canvas, whoops, let's do it that way, canvas, they got a tray, a, a little piece of wax because they were only doing this size, so I cut the squares from all the budget-friendly kits I have and gave them just half. And then they got, they also got a, I can get one out, I will show you, a pen. Some of them got some with squishies on them. We all know how easy those squishies are to get on the pens. So I have four pens and four trays left and three things of wax. Some people wanted to complete their flower and take it home. And I did allow them to do that. What I did is those baggies that we get in the kits, I took those baggies, went through the letters, took the drills, and poured a little of each color in the, in the bag. I tried to do two colors per bag, opposite ends of the spectrum. So I would do maybe a green, a green and a red together in the same bag so that she could figure out which one was blue, which one was red. Um, so that, that worked out. But I had two tables of, I had one table of four, one table of five people because we had one not come, which is okay. It's all right. Things happen. So we had two of these, one on one table, one on the other table. And it was a big success. People loved it. They, we called the library employee in and she says, so are you all having a good time? And we're all like, yeah. She says, uh, one lady says, can we do it? Can we do this again? When are we going to do this again? So they put me on the books for October. October, I'm going to do another one. I'm supposed to do the Mandela's. But I may change it up and do the Diamond Art Club only because the Diamond Art Club minis are kitted up for each individual picture. So I could give each person a picture. Here's all the diamonds you need. Next person, picture. Here's all the diamonds you need. I don't know yet. I'm still thinking about it. We had some fun. Some of them recognized me from 
my library when I was the children's librarian at the other library in the county, one of, one of the other libraries in the county. So we did a little reminiscing, talking about that, and that was fun. Told them how I got my son involved in diamond painting and how I got started in it. And people had different kinds of questions on pens. I introduced them to different types of pens. But I didn't want to get too deep into it because it was only the first class. So I wanted them to learn the hobby, the activity, before they tried other products. Let's face it, they're not cheap products. So if you're only going to do one or two small things and then you don't want to do any more, I don't want you spending the money on it. And I did have a giveaway. I gave away a set of coasters. Yep, I gave away a set of coasters. People, I had so much fun. I did warn them, though, that I am a retired children's librarian of 17 years. And I was pretty much 95% of the time, I only did children's programming. The little guys were my bread and butter. So I told them, because they were adults, I said, I just want to give you guys a warning. This is my second adult program ever. I normally talk to children and work with children, and I am so nervous today because at a children's program, if you mess up, nobody knows because they're kids. They don't know how things are supposed to go. But adults can tell if you mess up a little bit, but sometimes they can't. So they kind of laughed at that, and they said I did great. They said I explained everything well, and two of them went to Michael's right after the event, and I told them, tell them Nancy sent you. Maybe Michael's will give me a giveaway for the next event. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So that was my event at the library. I just, now I'm going to take these and these drills, I'm going to take these. These drills look a lot like diamond dots in size and color shades. So I'm going to compare them to some of the diamond dots that I have and add them. And some of the colors that I don't like, I'll just add to my I have a mason jar that I'm using for my niece, and I give her all my drills that I don't want. And she makes things with it. I do too, but um, I, I like colorful, bright things. So if, if there's no need for this little amount, if I don't have more of it, I'm going to add this to her jar because I don't really like that color. It reminds me of peas, and I don't like peas. So... I would give these to her. But like this one, I, I want to keep that because it's bright. And I know I have other diamond dots of this shade, so I will add them to that. But before I do that, I'm going to complete a flower. So as you know, these are partials, so they're not sticky on the outside. Only the picture is like that, is sticky. But I'm not going to do that now. But I just wanted to tell you about my library event. I had so much fun. So that is what I did yesterday. And this was how I packaged it all up. And I spelled floral wrong, and you're not going to see it. Maybe, hopefully you didn't notice. Okay, anyway. I also wanted to share with you my next canvas. It's The Mystery by Randall Spangler. Oh, guys, I'm so excited to do this one. 61 colors. I'm going to kit it up in the new Diamond Art Club storage kit. I will get 61 containers in there. If you want to see 
you can watch. I'm going to film the kid up. It's going to be a long video and I will try to fast forward through a lot of it so you won't have to be bored to death by watching me kid up. I actually enjoy doing kid ups and kit downs. I, I wish I could get paid to do that. I really enjoy doing that. Anyway, this is my next kit and you know what to do. Like, like, comment, and share. Share my videos with people. Share them. All right. That's all I have for you today. Thank you.